Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. In the last part, we had covered how you can connect your Android, iOS and Flutter web with your Firebase project. In this video, we are going to see the simplest way of authenticating your users that is email and password authentication, right? So I've already written the code to save your time. You can get the link in the description. And in this video, I'm going to explain each and each and every line of this code, right? So first of all, go on your Firebase project and you can see that web, Android and iOS, all three are connected. Go inside the authentication. If you have not clicked on get started, click on it and go inside the sign in method and enable both the uh, check marks of this email and password, right? You can see both the uh, check marks are enabled and enable it. Now go inside the users. Here you are going to see your authenticated users. Now go inside your Firebase database. We are also going to save the name and the email of the user. So you need to get start with this also. And in the rules, you need to make the false as true. You can see I've made it true so that anyone can uh like get access to this database who has this uh, user id who has access but this service or this uh, security rules will be different if you are publishing this app on play store or app store right okay we are set from the firebase side now go inside your main dot dart you can see that in the main dot dart i am having uh this stream uh, you can see in the home i have defined a stream builder which is going to continuously continuously listen to my authentication state. If the user is logged in, then I'm going to show the home screen. If the user is not logged in, so you can see over here, let me just decrease its size and remove it. You can see. So stream will be on Firebase auth dot instant dot auth state changes. So if the user is signed in, then home screen. If the user is not signed in, then login form. So let's go inside the home screen first. Here I just have a app bar with an action button as log out button which is going to log me out and just an app bar with a title of home now uh, in the main dot dart next is uh, next thing that i'm having is a login form so let's go inside the login form so in the login form what i've done is first of all i've defined four variables first is my form key that is going to validate and save my form and next is email password full name that are going to save the things that the user has written in the text fields and a boolean value of login so if the user is logging in then I don't want to ask his full name, but the, if the user is signing up, then I can ask some more fields like full name, contact name, phone number, and all that things, right? So this is to get that data. So if the user is logging in, then login will be true. If the user is signing up, then this login will be false. So initially I want to show the sign up form. That's why login is false. Then in the scaffold, I'm having a app bar and then I'm having a form. Let me just bring this in front of you and let me log out. Yes. So you can see that first of all, I'm having a form with the form key, then a container with some padding, a child column, main access alignment dot center, children. So first of all, if my login is true, then I want to show a container. But if the user is signing up, then I want to show a full name text field, right? It is a text form field with a key to make it unique text form field. Decoration is there then validator is there. So if the user has not written anything, it is empty. Then I'm going to return, please enter full name. You can see if I just click on sign up, you can see, please enter a valid email, please enter full name, please enter password. So these are basically my validators work, right? But if the user has satisfied this validator condition, then I don't want to return anything. That's a return null on save. So if my form is getting saved, if the form is validated after that, my form will be saved. So full name will take, so set state, full name will take the value that the user has written in the text form field, right? Same way email is there, key will be different, decoration is there, validator is there. In my validator, I've also written if my value does not contain at the rate sign, this means it is not a valid email, right? On set will take my email as my value. Password is there, obscure text will be true so that it should show star marks. You can see whatever I'm going to write, it will show stars. Validator, if the password length is less than six, that means it is not a valid password. So I'm going to say, please enter password of minimum length six, as you can see over here, right? Rest, everything is same on saved will take the password as a value, right? Then a container with the elevated button is there, which is my sign up, sign up and sign in button. So what it is doing is on pressed, first of all, it is going to check if my form is validated. So if form key dot current state dot validate, then it will save the form. After validating the form, it will save the form. So you can see that currently it is not validated. It, uh, it is having a lot of errors, this form, right? So this is not saved. After that, saving the form, it will check if the user is logging in, then I'm going to call the sign in user function. But if the user is signing up, then I'm going to call the sign up function user, sign up user function, right? Now let's go to this function. So this is a class, auth services class, and it is having two static functions, sign up user, and it is having sign in user. So let's see them one by one. Let me just decrease it. Yes. 
okay so in the sign up function i am taking a few parameters email password and the name and a build context right try catch block because some errors can occur that's why try catch first of all i am going to get a user credential so it is going to run a function an inbuilt function in the firebase auth plugin firebase auth dot instant dot create user with email and password pass the email and the password and you are going to get a user credential right then i am going to update my display name and my email in the current users field right and then i'm going to call this save user function now what is the save user function let's go now what the save user function does is it it takes the parameter name email and user id and it goes inside a collection called users in my firestore database and it goes inside the user id and it sets the email and the name we don't save passwords right that's why you are not saving the password now getting back it will it will also show a snack bar message as registration is successful but if there is some error like weak password the user has provided or email already in use then it will handle it will be handled by this code block and if there is any other error it will be caught by this code block sign in user it does not take name it takes email and password it signs the user with email and password and it says in the snack bar you are logged in otherwise these errors will be caught now it is a time to test our code so let's just bring the emulator let me write the email and password if you have any doubt you can uh reach out to me on linkedin or instagram and you can ask it akshit madan and let me enter my email the red gmail.com and let's uh, write a password and click on sign up so it takes me to the home screen you can see and this is handled by my main dot dart using my stream builder it uh, listen to my authentication stream so now i'm logged in that's why it showed me home page but when i was not logged in it is going to show me login form so let's go over here let me go on authentication and you can see my email is there my user id is there now let's go inside our firestore database and hoping to get okay we are not having our data so what's the error okay after uh, adding the plugins i forgot to rerun the app so let me just rerun the app so our app is now again running so let me just uh, log out log out of this app and let's click on sign up so let's hope this time there is no error okay we are added we are inside our home and let me just refresh my cloud fire store let's see what we get hoping to get the data yes in the users collection we are having a user id and we are having our email and the name over here i hope this video was clear if you want to get the code you can directly jump to the link uh, in the description and to learn content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot